Yep, sorry about the noise a little bit in the background. It's to do with the uh, other mic, secondary mic that's on. It creates a lot of hiss, especially when the amplifier's not on. Um, I'm going to go with Monty Q, I think, here. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Marcus? Marcus? Marcus, maybe. Yes. Now oh, that laugh sounds a little familiar. Now, I'm going to mention about some of the things I like about Battleborn, some of the things I dislike about Battleborn. One of them I really dislike is the load screens. Um, they seem to take forever. Everyone tends to pick the character very quickly in my opinion, but we don't need an, uh, that much time. Was it a minute and a half or something? To pick a character, and then we've got this screen. This this screen just <laughs> feels so unnecessary to me. I, I guess we have to find out who's on the opposite side. But that's even slow. The way it drags in like that. Why can't it just show us and then move on? And then there's this here. We have to listen to this person tell us exactly. So this is this. I understand, but I just think that where you pick your character just needs to be a little bit quicker. It just needs to be reduced. We need to be able to get in here quickly. And one of the other things about that, though, as well, is the balancing. At the moment, the balance is just real bad. I mean, when I was, like, level 1 to 4, I mean, I was level 4 pretty quick. But I was being put with uh, against people that were level 30. And, yeah, I'm, s I'm level... Oh, I don't know what level I'm here, about 17, level 17 right now. And I'm getting put with... Uh, level 39s and stuff and all sorts of different ranks and it's all mixed up, it's pretty bad and it's normally one-sided um, and I, lucky enough I've got some pretty good levels on my side right now so this this, this is pretty an even matched game at the moment another thing look, this is Unreal Engine uh, this was built on Unreal Engine however the graphics look really Poor, really, in my opinion, they don't seem very good. And I'm playing it at 1440 ultra wide, so maybe um, ultra wide doesn't help that much. But it it doesn't look entirely sharp. It, uh, as you can see, this, this is ultra wide. The HUD is huge. I mean, his gun is on that right hand side. It's massive. That I'm supposed to be seeing extra screen to my left and right, but I'm I'm not. It's almost like they've just took the normal version and just stretched it out which is a very common problem with ultra wide but it shouldn't be a problem with a new game all games uh, should be fine. um but it's do it but it, you know i can handle it as a moba i think this is literally the e evolution of mobas i think this is to me this is how i would want to play moba i don't want to play a look down League of Legends, Dota, uh, Hearths, Heroes of the Storm, sorry, I was going to say Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm. Um, I mean, they're okay, but this just feels more immersive, more uh, fun for me. Look at that. <laughs> I, I, uh, everybody else is using keyboard and mouse, and I decided I'm going to relax and use the controller. Uh, not having any problems, realistically. <laughs> that was pretty good there. Um, even though it is quite clunky with the controller, not as bad as uh, other games I've played recently, but it's it's pretty good. I always like to check to see if the controller works. Um, on the PC version, the controller works reasonably good. There is a little aim assist to help you out. It isn't violent, but it's enough to keep you almost level pegged with the uh, keyboard and mouse users. But as you can see, that a lot of the game is is not all about precision. A lot of it's about like spinning around and knifing people like this, uh, like uh, Phoebe was just doing there with the multiple swords. So it doesn't really matter. Um, it's uh, and this guy's pretty good. He's the sniper, so he's probably somebody you don't use with keyboard and mouse. But uh, would like to say with the almost assist, 
it's not too bad. I'm trying to get to the I'm trying to get around the shield, I don't know if you can do that. I'm kinda guessing you can't get around the shield. So yeah, but I am enjoying the game. It is very good. Uh, I don't think there's a large player base at the moment. I think that uh, it could be, it should be a lot more logical for a MOBA. Uh, MOBAs can have some of the largest uh, player bases. Like uh, I think Dota's up there. Oh, see that? What a steal! And that was a pretty much a headshot, I'm not entirely sure, but it, it looked like a headshot. Uh, I it, When I play this game though, I do prefer ranged than um, getting in melee. Uh, I, I haven't really, really mastered it as well when I play melee. Now performance, let's talk about performance. I'm obviously 1440 ultra wide here. Uh, as you can see, probably if you can see that on the left hand side, it's very small. Getting a uh, 95 <coughs> FPS constant. It's higher than that if I uh, didn't have G-Sync on. But G-Sync's actually snapped it to the monitor's refresh rate, which is 95. Excuse um, me. So I'm running at 95 G-Sync, and it's and it's smooth. It's quite good. The only problem is, is tabbing out sometimes causes it to crash, and then it resets it to um, windowed. Uh, and then I'm getting 122 FPS, which, which is uh, which is good because that tells me that I need to go back into settings and uh, put it back into full screen so I can get G-Sync working so it's smoother. Um, G-Sync obviously is 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 a nice feature. Now this guy's got an owl that you can chuck out and that owl will uh, attack somebody once and explode but you know like you can upgrade as you go on so he can attack two people and explode. Uh, uh, and then the other one his his um, uh, he has a time bubble which slows down people within inside it. Not not just um, the other heroes in the game but also the minions which is so useful like I just using it there to slow them down whilst I to take them out before it feeds. And this this game mode here, actually, I can't remember. It's called Meltdown, actually. Yes, I do remember. Meltdown. It's got two lanes, left and right, where minions are fed into uh, this big mouth, which gives points. As you can see, the points at the top. We've got most points at the moment. We're winning. And I'm about to die. I just got stunned. I'm going to die. That guy's killed me twice by doing the same sort of technique. What gets me though is when he came in with that, there's a rocket launcher just near me that was hit him. And uh, he's just so tanky, he can just take it. So he can go in and do stuff like that and take it quite well. But yes, I've been spending a few hours in this on level 17 now. I'm quite glad I bought it. I can imagine enjoying it quite a bit. It is, like I said, the evolution of MOBAs. Uh, it won't take off if people don't buy it. We've a uh, See it sadly. But yeah, I do honestly think that graphically it could look as good as Borderlands pre sequel. And Borderlands pre sequel is also works very well with ultra wide 1440. It also looks amazing, absolutely amazing in 4K. So why this doesn't look good in 4K or ultra wide 1440? Um, baffles me a little bit. Same people, Gearbox. And Gearbox, you know, great company. No bugs really in this. Except, you know, for the, the occasional uh, rare bugs. One of uh, my friends uh, keeps getting disconnected from Steam or something like that. It says it comes up. And, uh, Causes him to crash out of the game, which is kind of it happens way too much for him to be able to even enjoy the game, and can't seem to find the fault anywhere. It seems to be very rare fault. Um, 
but like I said, the loadout screens just seem to be very slow. Matching people up. I was playing an Overwatch beta, open beta this week, and you you, you kind of like uh, try to join a um, match, and it's like sometimes you could wait a minute or two, but sometimes normally you're in quite quite quickly, and then after that. You're, uh, you're constantly in, it just rotates, it's very quick, it's very smooth. I just kind of wish this is the same, realistically, but it's not. As soon as you finish a game, you chuck back out to the menu again. So then you have to go through all that, you know, waiting again. Sometimes you have to sort of lead and pre predict where you think someone's going to go. And I thought the uh, the um, wizardy kind of female there, I can't remember her name, was going to come back into that shot. But she actually just carried on going the way she was going. I keep putting like money into this thing, I'm swearly. Oh yeah, there's crystals in the game. Let me explain the game a little bit. Like, well actually too, there's, there's like quite a few modes. There's also a co-op you can do with your friends, up to five people, I believe. Um, and the co-op is 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 pretty good actually. It's not not shabby. It has a little story that goes along with it where you got like a little bit of dialogue going on. Um, and it, it is good fun and you unlock things you can level up that way as well I'm never good with this guy's ult Here is a free lesson for you. boom um, and there's these little crystals in the ground you pick these crystals up it's pretty much similar to some other games in respect to like trying to make points um, so you can use your uh, augments. The NLC thanks you for dying. There's little tiny boosters that you can pick before the game. You have to be level 4 or something to be able to use them, I think. Um, and they can give you extra damage, extra speed, shield recharge, you know, health, stuff like that. And you get packs that unlock. Um, that's another thing I want to mention as well. There's, there's a lot of uh, not trying to milk the community as well. Gearbox has been really good with that in respect they're not trying to you know have little tiny things that not I don't think I've not seen one thing in a game where it says you have to pay for it with real money and for me that's a bit unusual for a MOBA because every MOBA I've pretty much played asks for some money look at this close fight here look at that oh how close was that he like you see his XP he had 6 HP I think left that's all he had 6 and that's probably the difference of these things that you unlock. One of the things on this game mode is it's hard to get as many crystals as you can, and I have got not many at all. 2,728, that was the most I have just then. But we're comfortably winning, so they, s yeah, so they could surrender. You can surrender if you think you're not going to win. But anyway game, if I was to rate this game right now for what it is, I'd give it 7 out of 10. <laughs> 7 out of 10, guys. Thanks for watching.